Hello and welcome. This is Ursula. Welcome to Pilates apps with a mini ball. So I have two different balls here. Depending on the size, what really doesn't matter. What is important for this particular exercise as we do today is that the ball is soft, that it's a bit more smushy. So this is my smushier one. So you might want to release some of the air so the ball can fit below your lower back or in the middle of your back and it's more comfortable and you're keeping the ball in place. So has laid a ball here behind you, preferable right in the middle of your back and set your feet flat. So you can leaning here nicely back, open up your chest, place perhaps your hands on your chest or bring them actually behind your head. So you're keeping your head supported and take the strain of your neck. So all I'm doing is here, I'm inhaling as I'm rolling over the ball towards the mat and exhale as I'm crunching up. I'm laying my head all the way flat back. You do not have to do that. So let your head here rest in the safety of your hands. So you inhale, exhale, crunch it up. Pulling your belly button towards the spine is important and having your feet flat, knees bent for stability. Working here and warming up your entire abdominals, your abs. Now we're gonna exhale. Crunch up and bring one leg towards the chest. And we're gonna alter this. So I think I'm doing about 10 to 12. Do as many as you feel comfortable. Like I'm always telling you, this is beginner friendly. Work your way up and listen to your body. And over time, you will get stronger and you can do more repetitions. This practice is meant to be to do at least between one and three times through, but work your way to it. And you can add it on to any of my previous yoga practices, Pilates practices, or as a standalone, just Pilates for your abs with the mini ball. <clears throat> this is for you to grow in your ability. That's meant to be this way, getting your abdominals, your abs stronger. Strong abs is such an important thing for your posture, for your balance, for your all over health, and it cannot be neglected. And this is a really simple way as a beginner here, or even, you know, call yourself a regular practitioner to practice uh, a way to do this. Pilates is always a good way to strengthen the abs, the core. So I'm gonna rest here just for one to two deep breaths and feel free to do this more often in between. So now we're gonna assume the same position again. And this time we're gonna exhale, inhale, bring the knee in, exhale, straighten the leg. I'm not dipping my torso back, I'm keeping it steady. I'm just working my leg and bringing the knee in and lengthen. And if you look closely, you see that I'm lining up my knees here, the leg is not higher and the leg is not lower. So you're working here more the lower part of your abs while you're resting comfortably with your hands behind your head to take the neck strain out and you're resting strongly here on the ball. Other leg, other side, so you can rest it up here again, a breath in between. And then when you're ready, lift it up again and lengthen and bend the knee in. Work with your own ability to, you know, strengthen your abdominals here, your abs. It's not here having a six pack or whatever, it's about having strong, healthy abs. They carry you to your life as you walk, as you bend, as you sit, as you get up again, whatever you do, strong abs is important. If you look at little children, they have really tiny kids, no ab strings, and that's why they can't get up so easily. They have to form that over time. So here again, we do just the upper abs. We come back a little, exhale, crunch. It's like mini crunches, what you can do on the floor, but on that ball, you have a little more of a range to do this. 
exhale up inhale and here we go rolling off the ball now and you now we're gonna bring the ball behind the lower back as we're bringing the legs up so that takes a little maneuvering here again the ball is smushy you see that so you stay effortlessly up we're lengthening one leg up and one leg down like scissors alternating here balancing with our hands on the floor feel free to bend your knees a little bit more than what I'm showing here that also builds your flexibility here in your hip flexors and in your hamstrings it's a multi-purpose move I personally love this a lot I feel a lot of stretching here and yet I'm feeling my transverse abdominals the lower lower really deep abs in my body working belly is plucked in so you do not want to let your belly button pooch out that would defeat the purpose stop if it's getting too long and work when you're ready again take a breath in between this 10 minute practice here is really meant for you to get strong so now we're gonna bring the heels together and we keep them together and we exhale as we bend the knees towards the chest and inhale exhale push the legs away from you squeeze your inner thighs together it looks super easy if you're doing it right you're feeling it in your inner thighs as well as in your lower abs what is connected with your inner thighs so strong inner thighs strong abs and again pilates here is the the winner push it away and squeeze inhale let the knees come in exhale push it away and squeeze so now here I'm going to bring it in between our ankles it's another basic lower ab exercise you want to place your hands here right outside of your um, glutes or hips to protect your lower back so in the beginning you won't go very low this is plenty here keeping the ball in place by squeezing it together and keeping your legs straight and again belly button pulled towards the spine and as time goes on and repetitions go on your legs will automatically lower a little more rest your head comfortable on your mat do about 8 to 15 ish right when you're ready exhale when you come up inhale when you lengthen and firm up the ball squeeze the ball helps to keep the inner thighs engaged here as well good catch your ball and I'm gonna roll up here seat it and we're gonna pull the put the ball now where we're really sitting on it that's why it needs to be really gushy to hold you like a little seat and pulling the belly in as wasn't quite right so arms are out forward and we're just gonna let our body go into the ball so we inhale slightly tuck your chin in exhale let the ball and your abs propel you up coming pretty much straight here with your spine try not to round and you might feel this in your neck you might bend one elbow bring one hand behind your neck or take a break you might even experience a little soreness in your neck the next day so all I'm doing here is now I'm keeping the upper body moving the same way but I'm pulling one knee towards my chest if this is too intense just drop the heel down in between and then lift it up again in Pilates the core is your upper in and um, back and front upper thighs as well so you're gonna feel this here a lot in your upper thighs as well <clears throat> one breath in between belly in and we twist keeping the leg lifted or coming onto your heel you're gonna feel that by holding that same leg up or set the heel down in between and then lift it up again exhale as you twist keep the belly tight good let's 
take a breath and other side bring the knee up and in lengthen out so i'm getting here even tired i feel this you all it's not a walk in the park so leaning slightly back you can open up the hands or hold on to your hands find a position what works and bring it in links and out inhale exhale as you crunch good now we're gonna do that very same thing we're gonna twist here to the side and exhale as we coming for our oblique twist to the left side keeping that leg floating here knee bent the heel either floats in the air or you can rest it in between on your mat this is hard when we do both moves here back to back on the same side so this is kind of like the crescendo of our exercise today so let's sit here in a cross-legged position and then moving your ball and rest the ball in your lap well guys that's it for today that was quick 10 minutes pilates with uh, for your apps with a mini ball thank you so much for practicing with me see you soon bye